Hi, welcome to video 10 of 12 that covers how to use the ProVal Smoothness Assurance Module to develop grind plans. This video will follow what's covered in Section 10, Grind Plan Development Methods using the Smoothness Assurance Module of our manual. So in this video, we'll cover method three methods. Method one was correcting surfaces for an ALR issues only. So we've covered that already in video number eight. What we'll cover in detail in this video is method two, surfaces with ALR and minor MRI issues. So there, you can have a surface where you grind the ALR and you still have MRI issues left over. So you have to use a slightly different thought process when you're de developing a grind plan for that. And that's what we'll cover here. Then method three is surfaces with ALR and significant MRI issues. So <clears throat> there can be some projects that have a high amount of MRI all the way through the project. And you can develop a grind plan that doesn't require blanket grinding the whole job. So the steps to do this require using histograms. We, we won't go into this method at all here, but there's plenty of detail on this in the manual. We'll be covering what's covered in method two. Okay, so I have a project loaded up here. It's about 17,000 feet. And we have some leave outs where there's some bridges located. And we'll go ahead and just go ahead to the ride quality report. This is not the smooth assurance module. And let's take a look at the fixed interval values. Okay, this thing defaulted to 90. We're going to assume this job has an MRI requirement of 60. And we're going to choose IRI because we want both the left and the right wheel paths. Their fixed increment values to show up. If we chose MRI, obviously, it would show the average of both. We want to see the details, so we're selecting MRI. We'll select both wheel paths and analyze this. So here, here we can see the the mean roughness index for the left wheel path and the light blue and the dark blue is the right wheel path. So we're going to basically go through this grind plan and address all the ALRs first. And once we do that, a lot of these lines will lower down, but most of them will not be below this requirement of 60. So then we're going to have to find some more grinds to implement. So the key to this Method two is making sure you have a long enough grind list generated from the auto grind function such that you have enough locations that you can enable. This can require, you know, working off a very long list and then you're basically working your way through and enabling only the ones you need. So anyways, if you could print this out, sometimes this will help. But what's, I'd like to point something out first. Um, when we're looking at one wheel path, it's hard to keep track in your mind of what the other wheel paths doing so you know you could always think in the terms of if I'm going to address I'm going to try to lower both of these to below 60 and I'll be okay you know you should realize that we could lower one to 65 and another one to 54 and we'd below we, the average would be below 60 so if you want to try to keep track of that bookkeeping you know what how much you'd have to lower them down you can't do that on the side you know using tables so if we looked at this first increment here, when we looked at the, the left wheel path on its own, we'd see that it was slightly above in the, but we don't have to work on this one because our MRI is already below 60. We can see that the average of these two would be below 60. So if you had printed this thing out and put a big red X through that one, any ones that were similar to it, like this one here, we wouldn't spend a lot of time working on that right wheel path here. You, could, you know, go through this whole thing and find those locations that you don't really have to worry about. It's just more stuff you have to keep track of though. So anyways, for the sake of this discussion, we're going to look at the left wheel path and we're just going to have it in our mind that we're going to try to lower this left wheel path below 60 on all of these locations. Okay, so to do come up with our initial list, we have to be in the smoothness assurance module. We're going to select IRI and we we're going to assume this job has a 160 and a 60 requirement. So I'm going to go ahead and select my template I set up ahead of time, 160, 60. Apply that. Okay, so let's take a look at the left wheel path here. And we'll analyze it. We're going to go into the grinding function. We have to analyze that wheel path first before we can get there. Okay, now we can navigate to the grinding screen. 
writing. Okay, so this in version 3.5, we it defaults to showing you the one grind scenario. If you were in version 3.6, you'd get the auto grind generated list. But what you're going to want to do, depending what version you're in, you're I would recommend always looking at this one grind scenario first. So I'm going to click grind. So what this is going to do is assume that we're taking the grinder with the zero head height and driving it through the whole job. So it's going to daylight in and daylight out on a lot of cuts. It's going to do a lot of smoothing and a lot more than what we really need it. So let's go ahead and look at the fixed interval and see what it did. So we know that there, we can implement enough grinds to basically smooth this whole project out. There's a couple places where it's just slightly over and we can kind of assume that but we make some double passes we can fix minor amounts of roughness that are still over the 60 for MRI so th there's likely you know a couple large ALR grinds here that would the only way we could get them down is to make a double pass or lowering head heights and we talked about that in the previous videos so we we can't work from this one grind list obviously there's only one so we need a list of grinds, so we'll go to the grinding. Let's go to the input function and make sure that we have our IRI set to 160. So when I hit, when I go back to the grinding screen and click the auto grind button, it's going to give me a list, and it's based on that grinder dimension that we defined on the other screen and this value right here, 160. The, the lower this number, the longer my list gets. I just don't want too long of a list, so we're going to incrementally lower these values down. So, we'll see what happens if I go with a 160 auto grind. I'm going to click the 160. And if I grind every one of those locations that it gave me, which it thinks it's all, all it's trying to do is do most of the ALR, we'll see what the fixed increment looks like. So there's a lot of areas where we didn't do any grinding. So we to get these grinds listed in these locations, we're going to have to lower that ALR value down. Let's try one. I'm just going to bump down. I'm sorry, went to the wrong screen. 20 at a time, 140. Analyze. 160 is not going to work. Let's try 140. Grinding. That's the 160 list. We want the list for 140, so we're going to hit auto grind. It's going to give us that list. We'll see some more locations here. Yeah, so it added a couple more locations, keeping the same ones that we had with the 160. We'll click grind. Fixed interval. So we added a few grinds, but not nearly enough. We need to basically lower these ones down and we need, we need some grinds in here. Now if we had that printout of what was on the left and the right, maybe we can make some more judgments about if I really need to get a longer list. But So we're going to go back to the inputs and we're going to lower it from 140 to 120. See what that does. It's going to give us an even longer list. We'll see a couple more locations pop in here. Not that many. Let's try that again. What, what, what point? Finding auto grind. So now we're grinding the 120 list. We'll look at the fixed interval so it looks like you know we're getting enough grinds but we still have one spot here and another spot here where you know it didn't really drop down so much so we could keep incrementing this down but let's go ahead and look at this first tenth mile this tenth mile that's right after 11,300 or so see what's going on there on the short continuous screen So it's doing, you know, it gave us grinds that were in the first half of this tenth mile, but it's not giving us any other grinds out here. We might be able to make, you know, an extra pass and lower these values we, even lower. We need to get this blue line, so the average of this blue line is down 
a little 60. But we can see that, yeah, most of this area here is probably at right at 60 maybe. And we're going to have to get all this down. We probably can't do that. So I think we need to do more grinds in here. And the only way we can get some grinds listed in here from that auto grind generated list is lower that number down. So if I look at you know, what some of these numbers are here, let me go back here. Um, so that value right there is 98. So if I go to 95, navigate inputs, I put a 95 in there, probably get a lot more grinds. I'm gonna I don't want to have my li list to be too long, but I still need those li those locations. So grinding. So I'm going to do R to grind generate list based on 95. We're going to see a lot more get filled in here. Now if I click grind. Go back to that fixed interval. Yeah. So yeah, I, I would say. That's the list I'm going to start with is auto grind left 95. So go back to that grinding screen. This is auto grind left 95. So I'm going to call it new auto left 95 ALR. Okay, now now I would go through this and basically start to make modifications. So I might always have to get back to this initial list. So I've saved it under that auto left designation we just put in. So I want, so if I, as soon as I make any changes to this, I want it to save under this new name. So I'm going to give this one a new name. Left mod 01. Okay, and I'm going to save my file. Okay, now I can start going through this like what we talked about in video eight. First, I would go through and look at my short continuous. Let me back up here. I print this list out, have it sitting next to me on my desk with my highlighter and my pen. You saw how much trouble it was in video eight for trying to do it on a Excel screen. And we're gonna decide which ones we need to keep. So we're going to go through the short continuous first and then we slide through these. We need to get to the 10th mile increment. And we're, our first approach through this is to knock all this, all these 180s down. Keep all the grinds that are needed to lower the roughness to 180. But we can still see I have this line still at 95 I almost forgot to change that back to 160 so we need to change this the 160 apply let's analyze that again we have that list saved so we're going to go back to the grinding just make sure we have this this list applied Select this one. It looked like something changed. Oh, you know what it is? It's it's the columns here. When you have your list, and w once you grind, you get this column changes, so it looks like things change on you. So we're going to go through here. We have our list printed out beside us. We're going to go to the tenth mile scale. And we're going to go through a tenth mile at a time, and we're going to highlight all the locations that we know we need to lower the ALR below 160. Jump. We'll go through this whole thing. We'll, we'll highlight that one. We probably highlight this one, even though it's close to 160. You can also have in the back of your mind that some of these are going to have to be. You're going to have to lower MRI anyway, so if they're close to 160, you might as well highlight them. 
meaning you're going to disable all of them and only enable those ones that we're highlighting. So there's, that, that was a bridge, that was a leave out. So anyways, you saw this in video 8 and you just repetitively go through these grind plans and save your modifications as mod 1, mod 2, you know, naming them for the left and the right wheel path and making sure you save your file. Just go to th go through the reiterative process until you, you've taken care of all your ALR and then and go through and start enabling locations where you believe you need to lo to, 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 to enable them to reduce your MRI. So that's the end of this video. We'll move on to the next.